Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC. Uh, I got a video series here for you. New series! New series. Uh, it's long overdue. I don't, I just haven't had time to do it. Well, guess what? I got time. This is a something obscene company knife, as you can see by the box. No, it's not in a big box. But I bought this way back in June. At Blade Show. That's right. It's time to finally unbox all the knives I purchased. At Blade Show 2023. Let's go! That's right! Uh, I bought a lot at Blade Show 2023. I don't know why... I don't know why I just... I just have not had time. I've shown them off on live streams and on my Instagram. I just haven't had time to sit down and do a kind of nice overview video on everything that I bought. So we're going to start here. This is a knife from Something Obscene Company. They're famous for the J-Cape and the Mini J-Cape and the V4 and the this and the that. But this version, this model, spoke to me. I'm not a big fan of the J-Cape. Oh, but when I saw this. When I saw this, you bet your sweet tits I had to pick one up. This is the Something Obscene Company L-E-K. I call it the Lek. I don't know what it stands for. Future me, does it stand for anything? Does it mean anything? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But this is the Lek. Um, again, I've never been super pumped or super in love with any of his designs visually. But this one, man. This one. So full titanium frame lock. Really a, a nice kind of simple but decorative clip. Hidden hardware on the clip. Love that. Wild shape. Super tall. Crazy cutaways. Batarangs going on here. Gnarly thumb pyramids, big, big old uh, titanium backspacer here. It's nuts. It's wild. And I like crazy. I like wild. Let me get some size comparison knives. Obviously, obviously, the, uh, let me zoom you in here a little bit. The uh, pair three, bigger. Tactile knife cut rock wall, bigger. It's, bi it's big. It's very tall, very girthy. It's decently long, too. It's pretty damn heavy. It's a big boy overall. But this is why I bought it. I'm, I mean, Hello? Hello? I... <laughs> CPM 20CV Cleaver? Worn Cleaver? Death Cleaver? I have no idea. I have no idea what to call it, but it, it spoke to me. This one's got that hand rub satin finish on there. Um, I believe that these are made by Best Tech. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me. Future me. Best Tech, I think. Yes, no, maybe. But it, that profile, man... It is just so absurd. So in hand, yeah, Ergos, great. Real nice, big, big, grippy jimping here on the blade spine. Feels great in the hand. No issues there at all. Locked in, no hot spots. It's pretty boxy overall, but it just melts into the hand. It feels really good. We have a big sharpening choil, but no, is it's sketchy to say the least. If you want to, if you want to get your finger up there, it's a little suspect. I wouldn't trust it with my life. So you can't really choke up, at least not safely. But pinch grip? Oh yeah, your finger nestles into this little dimple here at the end of the blade all day. 100% of the time, all day. It's like it's like it was made for the pinch grip. Absolutely made. Designed from the ground up to be pinched. Oh, it's excellent. Ergos are, are the tits. Top notch. Uh, action is nuts. Running on ceramic bearings, reverse flick, crazy detent thumb flick gnarly detent there was a learning curve with these thumb pyramids just the placement of them it, it takes some getting used to but man once you get used to it yeah that thing rockets out no issues super snappy nice and controlled glide close i mean it's a guillotine it's kind of scary it's kind of scary sometimes but it just ooh, it's pretty well broken and i've had it for a few months and it's just cash money in the action department, man. And it makes a hell of a noise. Listen to these acoustics. Yeah. Thwacky. To say the least. Pretty damn thwacky. You know? God, that action's so good. Um, it carries okay. The clip's a little bit tight for my taste. Um, to be fair, I don't have any pants at all period that don't have the pockets ripped out of them they're all messed up it's a nightmare 
Uh, tons of internal milling, by the way, even though it still weighs like 16 pounds. It's just a beast, and I just love it. But, tall flat grind, 20 CV on the blade steel, crazy worn cleaver. Does it cut? Yes, I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to show you. Get the old phone book out real quick. Let's take a look. It's money. I've had this for several months, and I've used it a lot. I have not once touched it up. Haven't had to strop it. This is the factory edge still. So whatever they're doing, man, it cuts. Would I like to see this with an insane hollow grind? Yeah, sure, but God, it cuts so well. And it's just so aggressive and crazy and wild. And I just love it. It was expensive. Uh, it's one of my only real gripes with something I've seen. The pricing is, is rough. Uh, I want to say this was almost $400. 375 400 bucks, maybe. Um, future me? I have no idea. Thanks. But uh, they're pricey. They're, it's really good, though. I don't regret it. I really don't um, at all. I don't think you will either. I don't know if these are still available. Uh, something I've seen, they kind of come in and they come out of stock. So you got to kind of keep your, your uh, ears to the ground, if you will. But I love mine. I'm so glad I picked it up. And that is it. The Something Obscene Lek. I will leave links down below to Something Obscene for you to check it out for yourself. Uh, they're on Instagram. They're they're all over the place. So check them out. They got some crazy, crazy stuff. But that is it. So thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe down below. Hit up the Patreon, the, uh, the, uh, the Instagram, the TikTok. Become a channel member. Help, I'm poor. Because I buy stuff like this. I just can't help myself. But that's it. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, bye-bye now.